I'm True with Guns America. Today we are filming a special video for Guns America specialty publication, Decoding Darkness, and we're looking at what I consider to be perhaps the best civilian available thermal rifle scope on the market. So this is the Knockpix Ace S60R. And in my job, I get the opportunity to pretty much see most of the thermals that are out today and kind of have a first look at testing them. This happens to be my personal thermal optic. This is one of my favorite optics that I've ever used or owned. Um, and it's expensive. It's kind of one of those deals where if you have to ask, you probably can't afford it. But having said that, this is not even close to the most expensive thermal I've ever owned. The most expensive one I ever owned was 20 something thousand dollars and it was an L3 and it, uh, it sucked. I'm just gonna be honest with you. It was not even comparable to the quality or the features that this optic has. So right off the bat, this thing retails for $7,999. But let me tell you about what this thing is this is a 1280 uh, sensor in this so we've been used to the very best sensors being 640 this is twice that so pretty insane it has a 60 millimeter germanium lens in here and this gun is clear so a huge lens and then on these Nox picks if you notice here there's this little extra little window right here and inside of that is a 1300 yard laser rangefinder an IR laser rangefinder and if you go into the app on your phone you can input your BC velocity caliber all that stuff height over bore and it will actually uh, send it into the scope and when you range it'll disturb the reticle and give you a dot where you need to hold for distance so 1300 yard reticle by the way this is your focus wheel right here this is how you focus this this is designed to look and feel like a traditional rifle scope in fact the 25 60 i believe by 2560 display inside is round so it's a much more like a normal rifle scope when you look in there and then this is the other crazy thing about these knock picks uh, a series is that there's a one to three sort of optical magnifier on here um, and we'll try and show you some b-roll of what that looks like but there's a digital magnifier too and it goes up oh, i'll have to look inside but i think it's like 13 or 16 power and you just spin this wheel to turn the magnification up digitally, but you're zooming in on pixels at that point. With this, this is like actually zooming in on the display and it doesn't get all pixelated out. So the tighter you get, you actually end up losing some of the menu buttons. You don't see all of them, but you are seeing the middle of your crosshair. Uh, so actually really, really cool. And then of course, this is, your, this is how you adjust the image inside to your eye. Uh, this is the focus for what you're looking at. A um, couple other really cool features about this thing. This is your power button. It's right here on the end where you can see it easily. This does have record on impact or on recoil. So you can set it up where if you're just out hunting, it detects a shot. It will go back a few seconds and you don't miss the shot. Or you can take pictures or you can manually tell it to record. But for those times where you might forget, that's a really cool feature that it has that uh, shoot detection feature then this is your laser rangefinder you push it once and it will give you just a single pulse and tell you the range you can hold it down and it will actually just do continuous to where anywhere you point it uh, it gives you the range and it works pretty darn well the other really cool thing about this scope is the, the power system so first off this twists and if you take this and you twist it over you can see that a USB-C port appears so you, there's no knob to lose nothing that comes off but when it's closed it's sealed up you don't get crap in the port but you can plug that in and you can charge the internal battery with USB-C or you can plug a battery pack into this now the other cool thing is, is you can have this scope on and, ha and you can do this, and it's a hot swap. This takes an 18650 battery that's rechargeable. It comes with two of them. And you can actually have the scope on running on the internal battery and hot swap an 18650 into that. And because it's this direction, the recoil doesn't make it short out. It's uh, actually pretty cool. So those are some of the basic features. That's what the controls on the scope do. Um, 
and I'll, I'll talk more about the menus and we'll actually show you those in just a minute. Um, but I want to talk about some of the specs and the performance of what you don't see here. So this is a 60 millimeter objective and that's a very large objective and so it, it has a lot of ability to sense and is very capable. Uh, this is a base magnification of two which is a pretty good spot because when you digitally zoom into four, now you're essentially at a 640. So you essentially would be a 640 at four power or this is 1280 on two power. Um, and you're somewhere in between on three power, which is really the sweet spot in my opinion. Three power is kind of the ultimate for longer range shots on a thermal. Um, it's very easy to zero. It has a feature when you're zeroing it that you can actually freeze your reticle and the image, and then you move it down to the bullet hole. And believe it or not, when it's a little cooler, I can see bullet holes in cardboard at 100 yards with this just for an instant, but you know where they hit because it they, they, they're hot as they go through the cardboard. So they don't stay hot long, but you can see them. So zeroing this up is really pretty easy. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, it's an, it's the sensitivity. So this is how sensitive the sensor is in, in detecting differences in temperature. It is a net 15 millikelvin or less than 15. So it's very, very sensitive, which means you see a ton of detail in what you're looking at. And as you, as, as you look at some of our B-roll, you're gonna see that, that you can see just tons of detail on faces, on clothing, on animals. Um, it's a really, really impressive. So as I was telling you before, it is September right now of 2025. And in my opinion, this is the best thermal image that exists in the civilian uh, marketplace. So I've looked and played with most. There's some other really great options out there, but this is kind of what I think is the very best. Now, if they would make this in like a 75 millimeter three power, that would be insane because then you could go clear up to six power before you were back to 640 and that would be crazy. But um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There's a ton of color palettes uh, and, and honestly, I use black hot and I use white hot the most. I hardly ever use the other ones. Um, the menus are very intuitive and easy to use here. You just push this button down and then spin this wheel and run through the menus and you can push again. So it's actually very uh, easy to use. It's got eight or nine different reticles inside and you can kind of choose whether you want, what color you want them to be so that they contrast with the target you're shooting at. Um, what else? I believe the detection range on this is supposed to be something like 3,400 yards, which is crazy. Um, I use a standard 30 millimeter rifle mount. So in this situation, because of this big 60 millimeter objective, this is, uh, this mount that I have just barely clears the rail. It does clear, but it was just barely, uh, this is the mount it came with, and this is an actual Knox pick branded mount. And I mean, it actually looks like it's pretty good, but I swapped it out for one that I 100% trust and that goes back to zero every single time, but uh, it was barely tall enough. So, um, but any rifle scope rings are gonna work. So this is set up for an AR. Obviously, uh, you're gonna need a little bit higher rings if you're gonna put this on a bolt action. Um, let's, let's talk about the fact that because this is going on the Guns America channel, we're not gonna show you any kill shots. We're gonna show you footage, but we're not gonna show you anything dying. If you wanna see some stuff get shot through the Knockpix Ace uh, S60R, jump over to Guns America's Hunt 365 YouTube page. There's a short over there where you can actually see some kill footage. Uh, through the knock picks. Otherwise, enjoy the B-roll, check it out. Let us know in the comments what you think. I think this thing is incredible. Oh, let's talk about the knock picks warranty. So knock picks is based out of near Dallas, Texas, and they have what's called the five by five warranty. They'll either have it back to you and fixed in five days or they replace it for up to five years. So if good, good warranty, that's great. Five year warranty or have it back to you in five days is I believe how that works. Um, other gear here, this is a Seekins Precision Rifle in 22 arc. This thing is a laser. Uh, we have the Law Tactical Folder on here so that you can shorten this up so that it fits inside, in and out of your truck a little easier. And that doesn't open because I have the bowl open, which we have that open for safety. Um, we have a uh, Silencer Central Banish Suppressor on there. Then um, this is a really right stuff tripod, but that's the setup. 
Um, let's run through the menus here real quickly and show you what those look like. They're easy to use, a lot of features, uh, pretty cool stuff. One trick I want to tell you about that we learned when we were doing some cool footage of this is if you hold down both the rangefinder button and the camera button at the same time for I think it's about 11 seconds. I, I never did figure out exactly how long, but about 11 seconds for me, it shuts the reticle off inside so you have a clean picture inside. So if you actually wanted a video with this, it's actually phenomenal footage. Uh, being able to do that. But to turn the reticle on and off, it's hold those two down for like 11, 12 seconds together at the same time. And let me tell you what I see here in the menu. So up at the top, it tells me what the what kind of, that the Wi-Fi is off. It's on the auto nuke setting and it just went off. The microphone is on, which means that um, it's gonna hear me talking. It's gonna hear the gunshot. Uh, and it actually doesn't do a bad job of that. It's, you can see the red record button up there at the top. Uh, on the left, we have the battery, and on the right, we have the battery. One of those is the internal battery. One of them is the uh, 18650. You can see we're on two power, and that I'm zeroed on the A profile at 100 yards. And then their app allows you as well to connect via Bluetooth, and somebody could watch on a tablet or a phone if they were connected through the app for footage. And this does fully record and take photos and all that stuff. So uh, if I zoom in on the digital, all I have to do is spin this knob and it zooms in on the digital. And as you can see right there, that's what that looks like. And that allows me to zoom up to 24 power. And insanely enough, I told you the wrong number earlier, but insanely enough, like this is usable on 24 power. Like you could shoot something on this. It's better than the cheap stuff is on three. Um, let's hit the menu, the short button. So if I just press the menu button one time on top and just push it once, this is the menu that pops up. It tells me that we are on black hot and I can swap that. That's the brightness. There's the co uh, contrast, there's the sharpness, and there's the profile that I am on. So we're gonna switch through the palettes really quickly here. Um, just to show you that's black hot. That's a red hot version where the reddest things, rainbow, uh, violet, Crimson, Viridian, and White Hot, which is my favorite and what I use more than anything else. So uh, there's that. And then um, if we long press the menu so that we hold it down for like a second or longer, this is the main menu that pops up. And we have Ultra Clear on. And that just kind of smooths things out for me. I like it. The next menu is the reticle. And if we go in there, there's a ton of different reticles that you can do and profiles. And we're gonna go back out of that here, but um, zeroing, I told you that's easy and it is. We can pop a picture on picture on, and that allows us to have a more magnified, zoomed in picture up in the top, which could be useful to you. Uh, it kind of gives you both the big field of view as well as a magnified version of your reticle. And then um, there's the Wi-Fi. We can turn that on or off. Calibration, motion sensor, uh, the gallery, we can actually go in and watch the videos or photos that we've taken on this. So if we just had a kill shot, we could, in the field, go check it out. If we keep going, it takes us to the second page. The ballistic calculator, I'm actually going to take you in there and show you this. So the ballistic calculation is on, as you can see. It's an ARC-22, and that's what the profile is. And if I click on the profile, um, that's what's chosen. Um, and I can go down to the parameter settings and it shows you my ballistics for this rifle and this scope and this load, which is nuts if you look at that. So it's been pretty hot here in Idaho, even at night. So as you can see, it's set at 75 degrees, 2,500 foot elevation. I'm a one and eight twist, scope heights two and a half inches. It's a 62 grain going 31, 30 feet per second with a G7 BC of 0.199. All right, so I'm gonna hold the menu down for a second to take us all the way back. Ask me if I wanna keep these settings, I say yes. So I could have changed them or updated them in there if I wanted to. Nor, I do all of this on the app though, it's way easier, and then it just sends it over, but I can check it in the scope should I want to. So we're gonna go back to the main menu. We're gonna go back to the second page, which is where we're at here. The first thing we have is image hue, or this, that's the second thing in there. If I change that, I can make this a much more blue color uh, it's colder. I actually prefer the warmer uh, tone. It's easier on my eyes at night. The next thing is recoil active video. We talked about that already. I leave that on. I like it. It saved me a few times. Uh, standby mode shuts things down after a second. Microphone, you can turn that on and off. Pixel correction. You can go into settings and change things like the date, time, 
uh, the language, yards, meters, all that kind of stuff. So that's the basic menu. And guys, you navigate through that by once again, pushing the top button and then just spinning this wheel, which is also works out to be your uh, elevation, or, or sorry, your um, magnification knob. Now, let's lay something here. Let's just laser range find something so you get an idea of what that looks like. So I'm gonna do just a single hit here and that turns it on. And as you can see, that range 572 yards immediately. Let's see what that pivot tire is. Um, that's 476 yards. There's a haystack up there that's quite a ways away. Let's see if we can get a reading off that. That is 576 yards away, it appears. Now I'm going to hold this down. That's now in continuous. This gun is clear. We're not pointing this at things we shouldn't. Those trees are 761 yards. Um, those ones are too far to get a reading. Some sort of a building, 700. Anyway, you get the idea here as we scan around and see things. This pivot wheel is 36 yards away. All right, so that's on continuous. I'm gonna push it once or hold it down to take it off, back to single, and uh, there you go. So let's just say, let's hit that pivot wheel out there again that is 477 yards. Now, if you notice in my reticle here, there, there's two reticles. There's a black reticle that is my normal 100 yard zero, and there is a green reticle there. And um, it's an X on the top window if we zoom into that. In fact, if we turn the picture and picture off, it's easier. Um, get back there to that, turn that off. Okay. So we zoom in here and you can now see the distance, the difference between the, the reticle. That's how much I'd have to hold over at that 477 yards in order to hit with this ballistic of this cartridge. All right, let us know in the comments what you thought of the Knockpix Ace S60R thermal rifle scope. Like I told you before, go check out the Hunt 365 YouTube channel if you want to see some kill shots. Make sure you subscribe to that. We don't want to offend people, which is why we're not putting it in this one. But um, yeah, this is the best thing out in my opinion right now as far as just features, image, quality, detection range, able to shoot it far, really good feel of view. It just has everything that you want and the image is just nuts. Let us know what you think of the image and the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you on the next one.